Hey guys, this is Gerard from Personas, and today I want to take a look at the tempo and signature tracks with you in Studio One, which can be used to accelerate or slow down the tempo of your song at any point in the arrangement. It also allows you to insert different time signatures. You can, for example, switch from 4-4 to 3-4, 7-8, or any other time signature that you can imagine. And you can also insert different key signatures. All three of these things can be easily realized through the tempo and signature tracks in Studio One. One. Let's take a look. Okay, so here in Studio One, I have a bit of a classical composition for you today. We have the score view in Studio One that allows us to show these MIDI notes in classical notation. We could even go ahead and print this as a score sheet now. This is not the topic of this video, but I wanted to point it out regardless because this just used to cost so much money back in the day. Uh, just a side note. And now I want to take a look with you together how we could insert a time or key signature automation so that we could accelerate or slow down the arrangement gradually or instantly. So first of all, we should open up the tempo track by clicking on this clock icon here. And if you don't see that, it's probably because your track list isn't wide enough. You see, as it gets more narrow, there's not enough space to show all of the icons anymore, hence why we have this drop down menu here. But if you expand the width a little bit, it shows right up. And that is the tempo track. We can define a minimum and a maximum BPM, meaning beats per minute song tempo. And this allows us to set it exactly in the range that we need. Like for example, if I know that my arrangement is not going to be slower than 50 BPM and it's not going to be faster than say 120, now it's much easier for me to drag in or draw in different automation points and they're going to be much closer to the range that I'm actually aiming for, right? And now it's as easy as just adding points wherever I want to have a tempo change and then I can just drag down or drag up with the mouse uh, to change the tempo. can also right click and type in the value that I want. Like if I want to go from 86 to 100 BPM, you know, speeding up the arrangement gradually, I can just do it this way. I can also use Option on a Mac or Alt on Windows with the arrow keys up and down to change values incrementally. And if I want to have even finer control, I can also hold down Shift to make extremely accurate adjustments. And uh, that's pretty much all we have to do. And that would sound like this. Right? If we want to affect audio tracks in this way, like let's say that we already had some rendered audio, that is also entirely possible to speed it up in this way. But then you have to go to the track inspector by clicking on this I here in the track list and make sure that tempo is set to time stretch. Otherwise, it wouldn't follow along nicely. Okay, so this is how you could accelerate or slow down the tempo of your song. How about a different time signature? Well, that can be realized with the signature track. You open that up by clicking here next to the clock icon and to enter a time signature, you can simply right click anywhere here in the arrangement and then select insert time signature. Now you can specify the numerator and the denominator. So kind of like the amount of beats per bars you could set that to two, four or maybe seven, eight, just like so. And once we click OK, we can see here in the transport bar that the metric is changing from four, four to seven, eight. And I've also already included a couple of key signature changes here. So it's going from C minor to F major. Now this doesn't have any immediate harmonic consequences, but it does change the notation of the song. So when we check in the score view, we can see how between these two passages, there's different key signatures. And also this affects the way we can select and move notes. So now we can only move them onto pitches that are part of F major. And over here, we can only move them to notes that are part of C minor, for instance. Inserting a key signature change is just as easy as we've just seen it with a time signature change. Just right click anywhere inside of the signature track lane, and then you should see the chord selector that you're already familiar with, probably from the chord track. Select your key signature and the change is implemented.
One more thing I want to point out is that the visual display of the grid can change as you're slowing down or accelerating your tempo, but it doesn't have to. For example, in this song, we're ramping up from 65 beats per minute to 120 beats per minute. We can also do this, uh, you know, in a different curve. We don't have to do it in a linear fashion. But as a result, the bar grid is also kind of getting narrower and narrower because at 120 beats per minute, the time that it takes to get from bar 11 to 12 is shorter than here where the BPM are still around 65. And to visually represent that, the grid is displaying this. And if we don't want this behavior, we can simply right click the timeline here and change the time base from time linear to beat linear. This will kind of restore the even distance between each of the bars. But this is just a different visual preference. This doesn't have any consequences for how your arrangement sounds uh, so that you can kind of visually tell tempo changes apart if you'd like to without having to show the tempo track at all times. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all there is to know about the tempo and signature tracks in Studio One. Hopefully you found this instructive and thank you for watching.